uh, closer to me so this angle in my knee will be, right now it's a little bit like that. Um, <laughs> but if I slide my foot up the bench more, it's even more of a 90. Well, what position is this? another one we're still in the warm-ups y'all we're still in the warm-ups so we're on the shoulders uh, and we're gonna get into it this is the model physique gym blitz 12 week program link is in the description let's get into it okay we've got more shoulder rotation we're doing we got the leg up on the bench the other leg it's not the best it's not the best video angle let's see if my uh, videographer will move to a better angle but basically you got your leg up this leg and this leg, you should have 90 degrees in between them, right? You, you, you want them to be 90 degrees. But the leg that's up on the bench and the leg that's on the ground, you want it to be 90 degrees at your groin. And you see I'm doing the internal, internal and external, and internal and external. Um, and then I'll actually, when I'm doing external, I'll, I'll actually sometimes flip the dumbbell down and I'll let it pull actively let it pull me into further extension and then same thing I will let it pull me into further uh, internal rotation guys key points here hips at 90 degrees stand up tall ear away from your shoulder that way you're standing up tall head up chest up and rotation is only at the shoulder joint you do, when you're doing the internal rotation you do not want to be dumping forward your torso should not move just your shoulder see just your shoulder just your shoulder just your shoulder not internal dump 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 or back this way you don't want to be it's all shoulder all shoulder all shoulder all shoulder okay now <clears throat> Again, why is this better than say just a normal someone like standing up at the mirror with two dumbbells and kind of doing like some of these external rotations? Well, I do those as well actually. That feels pretty good all up in here, up in this business. But the thing about this is guys, again, I'm incorporating the hip and I've got the 90 degrees at the groin and I'm incorporating the hip at the same time I am incorporating internal and external rotation. And when does that matter? Well, when you're squatting. Because you're using your hips when you're squatting, you're incorporating your hips and your legs, your lower body when you're squatting, but at the same time, you have external rotation. Whether you're doing a back squat, a front squat, your shoulders are involved. So I'm incorporating the hip in this position. So if you come from the side, and sometimes my foot will be slid up a little bit more uh, closer to me, so this angle in my knee will be, right now it's a little bit like that. Um, <laughs> but if I slide my foot up the bench more, it's even more of a 90. Well, what position is this? Again, my leg is very close to my torso right now, right? So what position is that? Well, that looks like a deep squat position when I'm deep squatting, when I'm deep lunging, when I'm leg pressing. So I'm incorporating the shoulder internal, external rotation along with that hip. That's the main point. That's why there's more that meets the eye here, guys. It's not just about doing the shoulder internal, external rotation. It's about doing the internal, external rotation while being able to stand tall, head up, chest up, ears away from your shoulders as far as possible that distance and incorporating without doing the dumps with the hip in that 90 degree position. 90, 90 and 90 degrees up on the bench with the leg close to the torso. Almost spilled my drink. Guys, that's it. Check it out. Everything's in the description. And we are on the next one. I'm out.